Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how you can get a virtual avatar in your live streams and uh, OBS recordings for free and without a watermark. Go to the first link in the description and click on try animes free. The software that we're going to be using is called animes. It has a free plan and a paid plan, but the free plan is free forever as long as you use the free props and the free um, avatars. So uh, once you download, the, I've already downloaded the setup, so I'm just going to cancel it. Once you download the setup, uh, run, uh, run uh, click on it and run it as administrator. It's going to install the Animes Launcher. So it doesn't install the software directly. It's going to install the Animes Launcher. And uh, once you have the Animes Launcher, you want to open it up. Click on yes when it prompts you for administrator uh, privileges. And you'll see something called as install Animes. Now I've already installed the software. So for me, it just says launch Animes. So I'm going to click on that. It's about a 1.5 GB file, so based on your internet connection, it may take a while. So once you install it, click on launch. And there we go. You have your, um, it should select your camera automatically, your default camera. If not, click on the drop down menu here and select your camera. Now, uh, this is the default avatar and you may get a default background. I've just changed it. So, um, it should automatically detect your facial movements. If not, click on calibrate and you can calibrate your face with the avatar. Now, uh, I've already done that. So you have many options to explore around. You can go and choose your avatars. You can buy some if you want. And um, now if you want to integrate this with your gameplay in OBS or your screen recordings, you want to go down, click on uh, backgrounds. Click on backgrounds and uh, just choose a simple one with a green screen like this, the one for live streaming. And uh, you can just use your scroll wheel to change the field of view. If uh, you're using a trackpad, then you can go into your camera settings and change it from here. So um, based on that, you can change how big or small your, cam your uh, avatar is. <clears throat> Once that's done, uh, now if you don't like the default avatars, you can uh, import some from the website. So go to the second link in the description and you get this really cool website with some amazing features where you can create your avatar. So just choose your body type and your, um, or you can upload a photo of your own to get an AI generated avatar and it has many features. So make sure to explore this website thoroughly before you import your avatar. Now, once you make your avatar of your choice, click on next and click on import to animes and this will automatically import it to your software without having to install any third party uh, software so uh, once that's done you can go into um, avatars and i've already imported mine so this is how it looks there we go now um this this is not calibrated so it may look a bit weird but never mind i'm just going to use a default one for this video there we go now uh, if you want to import this into obs just click on enable virtual camera and you should see this small box pop up over here so this uh, states that your virtual camera is now live so minimize uh, all your windows and you can close out of the launcher open up your obs and uh, in the sources click on the plus icon and go to video capture device name it whatever you want I'm going to name it Animes Cam and click OK. Now here, if your virtual camera is enabled, you should see Animes Virtual Camera. And there you go. It detects it perfectly. Click on OK. Now, since Animes isn't paid, uh, you will have this, uh, isn't the premium version, you will have this um, watermark that keeps jumping from to all the four corners of your camera. So first thing I'm going to do is um, center my, uh, my webcam vertically. So I'm just going to go to Transform and center vertically. Once that's done, hold down Alt on your keyboard and just remove the part where the watermark pops up. Once that's done, to remove the green screen, it's really simple. Right click, go to uh, filters, click on plus, click on chroma key, click OK. And make sure the color is set to green. Your key color type should be green and click on close. And there you go. Now your avatar is um, without a background and you can use this for your gameplay, your streams and even your display recordings. I know it's been long since I uploaded, it's been more than two weeks. We are on the road to 500 subscribers and I can get there only with your help. So subscribe and uh, leave a like. The aim for this is 20 likes and um, I hope this video helped you all and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.